What's up, boys? It's Nick from Team Table 501 here, King of the Scrubs, and today I'm bringing you the deck tech that I promised you guys. Uh, this is the deck list that I played to the top eight of the Pandemonium Amonkhet game day. Uh, before I begin, shout out to Darren Beatty. He's a, he's a great friend of mine. Uh, this is his deck. He let me borrow it. They, we did make a few changes. Uh, so uh, he decided to play Black White Zombies for this event, and he, because I didn't have my deck on me, or I didn't, I'm working on a deck right now, but uh, essentially just I've been helping him play test this deck to figure it out for the current format. So I've been playing it online, I've been playing it at, at FNMs and stuff, and I've been doing pretty well with the deck. So he let me play it for this event as well. So shout out to him. Without him, I probably would have never made top eight. He was also my ride there. So yeah, just shout out to him. He's an all right great guy. Hopefully I can get him on the channel one day. Um, but yeah. So my matchups were in Swiss. Was round one, I played against a green-black panharmonicon deck. Mostly focused on energy and ramping into huge dudes. Uh, game one, I lost because I literally just could not draw a torrential gear hulk. I think I went through about 35 cards and didn't see a single gear hulk. Towers just don't kill 5-5s, five five, you know? Games 2 and 3 are pretty... <sighs> Games 2 and 3 are pretty easy. Um, and then round 2, I played against Blue White Flash. There was a lot of Blue White Flash at the event. I didn't know how my matchup was. Uh, game 1, I lost. I was stuck on 5 lands when he got to 9 pretty easily. So, And then games... T uh, by the way, Fevered Visions is the best fucking card in the sideboard. Get your copies. Now that card is fucking ridiculous. Uh, that card basically won me the match. I was able to resolve it on turn three, both games two and three. Uh, I got really lucky. I'm not gonna lie, but even without the fever visions, like even if it, like if I didn't have that fever visions, I still would have won the game. But it definitely helped out. Uh, round three, I played against blue red control. Uh, I won game one from Dynavolt Tower. Game two, I lost from not hitting my land drops. And game three, uh, game three was pretty back and forth. <clears throat> He was just able to resolve one more card draw spell than me, and that was the end of it, so. Whatever. Round four was blue-red control again. Uh, game one, I was able to win through tower. Uh, no one was able to kill game one towers. It was ridiculous. Um, and then games, uh, game two, I just lost missing land drops, and then game three, he resolved six to the final word before I could find mine. So... Sad. And then round five was Jun Delirium. I lost game one. I had to mull down to four. And it was an okay four card hand. I had two removal spells and two land, but I just I couldn't win. Like I just had no way of winning. He had two tireless trackers. And then games two and three were pretty easy. The deck has a pretty solid just black green X matchup anyway. Just because you don't really care about what they play. Like Constrictor is really annoying, but whatever. <sighs> uh, and then in top eight, I lost to blue red control. Uh, game one got down to pretty much decking. Uh, I had five cards left in deck while my opponent had seven. And, uh, he was just able to, to deck me out. And then game two, I lost to turn three Kefnut. I just didn't have an answer, so. That was how my game day went. Uh, I'll run through the deck list. Uh, they, we definitely made a lot of changes. And, uh, I will post the updated list of the deck. Uh, if Darren gives me permission, because he gave me permission to upload this because it's already on the internet, so I don't think you can care that much. And then uh, I'll put the updated list hopefully uh, Saturday once I play the deck at FNM. So for lands, we have four Aether Hub, two Evolving Wilds, two Inspiring Vantage, three Islands, one Mountain, two Plains, one Port Down, four Prairie Stream, four Spire Bluff Canal, and two Wandering Fumeral. Uh, Fumeral is like the best card in the deck, no shit. <laughs> like, just having another win condition is really good. Uh, we played three Dynavolt Towers, just no one had main deck removal for it, although we did cut it from the deck in the updated build. Uh, for our instance, four Anticipate, three Disallow, two Essence Scatter, three Glimmer of Genius. This card will be put up to four, but because Darren was playing the Dovin Bond, uh, the Dovin Bond is going to get cut for the fourth Glimmer, so. And then four Harness Lightning, three Magma Spray, and two main deck Negates. Uh, Negate was much stronger than I expected it to be. I don't personally like main decking Negate, but this card was actually really good, so. Uh, and then for board wipes, one Fumigate and two Sweltering Suns. Oh, uh, they were okay. I probably would have played the second Fumigate over the Dovin Bond, actually, but. And then four Gear Hulk, because it's just the best control win condition in the whole format. And then for Planeswalkers, one Dovin Bond, one Jace. Uh, I did Ultimate Jace against the Blue-White Flash player, which that was pretty, uh, cool, so. There's that. And then the sideboard was one Chandra Flamecaller, 
Uh, she put in work. She is so good. Uh, she won me a couple games. Uh, two Essence Scatter, three Fevered Visions, two Fumigates, two Horribly Arise, two Negates, two Release the Gremlins, and one Sphinx of the Final Word. So uh, that was pretty much it for this video. Uh, I just wanted to tell you guys how I did a game day and my matchups and stuff. Uh, it was a really fun event, and uh, we also got this promo True Heart Duelist for just entering the event. I would show you the promo glory, the promo glory bringer that I won, but I ended up trading it for two regular glory bringers, and then I sold those to Darren for twenty bucks. So uh, all in all, I made like forty five bucks on the day. It was really good. Oh, I also for I'm stupid. I forgot to mention the two cast outs that were in the deck. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Oh, but yeah, cast out was super good. Uh, but anyway, guys, um, I would highly recommend that you play Control right now. I think it's possibly the best rogue deck of the format. Just Control in general. It can be blue black. It can be blue red. It could be Just Guy. Uh, I will admit uh, this list is a little bit weaker than other blue red Control lists, just because they have room for more card draw. Like a lot of Control lists I saw weren't playing Anticipate. And while I personally like Anticipate in Control decks, I just don't think that it's good right now. So there is that. <sighs> anyway, uh, I'm Nick from Team Table 501. Thanks for watching, and get good, scrubs.